Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. You may have seen some videos I've done about Trilavian hunting where I hunt Trilavians in my solo golem and I absolutely annihilate them and salvage them to get some good isk. The thing is, um, it's quite hard to use a golem, you need to have good skills. I have even good skills on top of the skills required to fly a golem. And that's why I'm going to be trying something out for a little bit more new players. This is still not completely new players, but alpha clones at least. Uh, my character here, Agrobruto, he's only got alpha clone skills trained. He's got max alpha clone skills, so this is definitely possible on an alpha clone. It's that this is more like the higher tier of alpha clone right here. But I'm going to be trying hunting Triglavians actually in a raven. But first, we're going to have to find a Triglavian wormhole because that's what you always do. To be able to find them to farm in so i'm using a cheap atron right here 1.4 million is cost me 2 million actually because gita decided to rip me off but we're going to go and look for some uh, true love in wormholes in the atron and then after that we're going to try using a raven now this raven and if it is not like it's not particularly uh say the tanky fit it's made to snipe stuff so you're not going to be sitting in there face tanking everything you're going to be sniping with cruise missiles so hopefully that'll go good we'll see so first off, what we want to do is to look for security status right here. Then we just plot a route around these like red dots right here. So we can just plot some roots right here. Okay, so we plot some roots near those red dots and then we optimize the route. And then we now look for some triglavians. And we can also just set the D-scan filter to have them because that is very important. If we go here, let me make this smaller a d scan filter the way to make a d scan filter is you just go into like one of these for example mining tab presets deselect all then do trigla triglavian entities that is triglavians like that and now you can just take mining back on the mining tab just wait a little bit go here okay we'll take mining here clicking clicking why is it not working I can't do it for some reason. Maybe it's glitched out, this overview settings right here. There we go. Okay, so I click mining back here. So now I set reset to where it was before. Now on the D scan, you can see there's another one called Triglavian. So I'll just set this to max range 360 degrees and I'll look for the Triglavians now when I go through system to system. I'll just D scan on the way here. And another way to also just know if it's even worth D scanning or not is if you put a cosmic signatures, make sure that's ticked. So we can see that there's no cosmic signatures in this system right here. So that means there's no even point of descanning because there's no way there's a Triglavian wormhole here. A Triglavian wormhole is what is found where the Triglavians spawn in. And that will be then a cosmic signature that we can scan down. But we don't see anything here. So we know that there's nothing in here. We know that there's nothing in here as well. We can just continue on this route right here. Hope hopefully we'll find something nearby. I heard a Pakornin actually. I heard some people this morning. They were mentioning that there is something in here. Oh, it's a low sec system. Never mind. I don't want to go to low sec. <laughs> I think you can hunt Triglavians in low sec too. Obviously, a lot more dangerous though. It wouldn't be that dangerous, I think, because you would be actually kiting. If you had to use a kiting ship, it would be hard for people to get you. I guess combat scanners would be a thing. Nothing in here. You can go over the Raven and fit how it's working, basically. So we've got this Raven. I'm calling it Edencom Defender. It's defending the space of New Eden. So we've got some stuff in here. We've got some salvages that we can refit. I have put Mobile Depot actually. I need to put Mobile Depot in here so we can refit later. But basically we're going to be using the MWD to kite. So we're going to warp in at 100. And then we're not... This shield boost is really only if we absolutely need to. Look, we're, we're cap stable with the MWD. I think that will be quite important. Now let's just make sure we're de-scanning here just in case. D-scan, D-scan, because there's a cosmic signature right there, so that could be maybe a Triglavian wormhole. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, yeah. System is empty. So, we'll be going around. We'll first look for Triglavian fleets, then I'm planning on warping in at 100. And then, I'll just be sniping them with the cruise missiles. Not got the most amount of DPS, but we've got a very good range with this. So you could you've used like something like a Naga. I was thinking of even trying a Naga. The thing is the Naga has quite a bit less DPS than this. And I like how we're going in with cruise missiles and doing uh, got a really good range, a lot better than a Naga. And then also that I think the Raven in general is a pretty cool ship. 
I think it's a lot cooler than running a Naka. But I think that's definitely a possibility as well. And a bit cheaper as well, because this is like 375 million right here. So it's just tech 2, basic tech 2. It's nothing crazy on this ship, and it's just still 375 million. We've got some mainly DPS fit. You see here, bay loading accelerator. We've got these ballistic control systems. This one, there's a one right here, Polyboss one here. It's a little bit more expensive, it costs 17 million. This improves our application. It'll be good if you want to take out these Damovic. So that's why I've got this one right here. Damage control just for general survivability. If we were to somehow get a big alpha on us. And these, these guidance computers are going to be here. For having some precision scripts going on. So we'll be using these then. Our targeting range is 160 kilometers. And we hit 178 kilometers or plenty of range we've got with this fit. In fact, maybe even a little bit too much range since we need a bit more targeting range to fully utilize it. I don't think that's really much point. We will just be warping at 100, then MWDing away and shooting anything that can tackle us. That's at least the plan. Now, I have not tested this. This is what we're going to be doing right here, trying to find some possible alternatives for the Alpha clones. It could be the possibility that I die right here, but I, I don't see any reason why this wouldn't work. We are faster than Leshax. The Vedmax could, uh, could, could be a problem, though. The Vedmax could be a problem if they get close to us, but hopefully we'll kill them before they kill us. The Damvix as well. They could also be a problem, but basically, I think what we could do is, is that we, if anything starts getting close, we could just warp out. Nothing, nothing like too crazy, and we can make a bookmark, warp in a hundred that bookmark, and just keep sniping from there. I mean, shouldn't be, shouldn't be too, too hard. I'm not using any implants in this guy either, so you could perhaps get a little bit more DPS if you put a few basic implants into this as well. No trigger larvians yet. It's a bit of patience you have to have when you're find, looking for the trigger lab. I mean, sometimes you just go for quite a few systems and don't find anything. Sometimes you find them almost straight away. Like I found them two jumps out of Jita quite often actually that I just come across them almost straight away. To be honest though, I prefer not to run them two jumps out of Jita. I mean with this it shouldn't be any issue, but if I were to use something a little bit more expensive like say a Golem, then I prefer not to use it two jumps out of Jita just in the case of Gankers. With this ship right here, I think that Definitely, it would be a good idea if you feel like want to go for something a bit better, then it would be like the Raven Navy issue. But again, we're going to see here if the actual Raven itself completes this. If the Raven does good here, then we can maybe try a Raven Navy issue next to be like an upgrade path. But first, we want to just make sure that the standard Raven I've got right here actually works. I'm going to make the overview a little bit bigger right here just so I can see the proper names because it'll be important to see the names later so that we see which one is like. I've got which pref uh, prefix because like you see like if they're anchoring it means for example that they are people who are scram and it can be quite important to keep an eye on those nurvu kaiken i have actually in this system in fact before fought triglavians it was uh, something i did in the past tuntaras as well as another system i fought triglavians in the past i think i even have a video of it on youtube in the golem roll them in the golem ah <laughs> uh, there's nothing cosmic signatures so there's no point of scanning here oh look at all those triglavians we found something we found something okay oh that's a lot of triglavians on the grid wow probably people are farming here wouldn't surprise me put this on compact member list and we'll try scanning down the wormhole see if we can maybe siege the wormhole in a raven it'll take forever though but perhaps it would be even better to just go for a standard fleet because the wormhole fleet uh, actually the wormhole fleet sometimes can be shorter than normal fleets if the normal fleets are big ones Oh, look at all these Triglavians. It's quite intimidating. We'll try, probably not trying to kill like a full wave. We'll see how it goes, but I think that it could even be worth it to just selectively snipe the Leshax because you can get some good isk from the salvaging them specifically. Pretty big ships. It's uh, quite good to salvage those guys. So you could perhaps like selectively snipe them, then just warp off, then warp back in and just snipe anything that is important. I think that's what some people do. I have seen people in Nagas doing kind of like a warping in, warping out strategy. My skin, in your alpha clone, your scanning skills are not the best. It takes a bit of time, and especially since I'm using just a tech one stuff here, you could use like a scanning frigate and do this much quicker. Or like a pacify example, that would be really good. Pacify is a very good ship for finding Triglarians, and this is a, it's a very good warp speed, so warps around really fast, and then is also able to scan very good as well. But it's pretty expensive and also requires. Omega. Okay, here's a wormhole. Probably this is the one. 
second and we'll put it in this 100 see what is here and just make like a bookmark here so we'll have one 100 in case there are npcs here we'll just have one directly here which we can go to later in the raven oh no this is a standard wormhole okay it's not even a triglavian wormhole <laughs> But all these triglavias are making me very nervous here on the grid. Look how many, oh, the D scan, there's so many triglavias. Look at all these anchoring ones as well. There's so many anchoring ones here. I definitely think that this could be, like, it would be really good if you have, like, a fleet of people like this. You have a bunch of friends. Because, like, this would be, like, a, you would multiply the DPS. So, I mean, it only has 600 DPS by itself. But then you, like, have a bunch of people. Like, say you have 10 dudes or maybe 5 dudes. You'd have 3k DPS in total. And you would be getting through these fleets quite quickly. As a solo, it'll be probably very slow, I can imagine, very grindy. But when you are, if you are by or with a big or a group of people, I can imagine that would be pretty nice, especially for like the high set corps, you know, these mining corps or whatever it is. Uh, you could probably find some friends there and just do them together if, if this is possible. And honestly, I feel like this definitely is possible. It's just that if I do fail up, it's because I make some mistake. Because I've never done this before even myself. The whole reason I thought about this, because I've seen some people using Nagas. And then I just think, okay, we can make something snipey. And this should be a better sniper than a Naga. The annoying thing will be the time it takes for the missiles to land. But the cruise missiles are very fast. And again, we have better DPS here. Okay, oh, there's some Edencom things here as well. We can, okay, save this perch spot, add these guys to entities, and we'll go back to Jita. Add this to Waypoint. Oh, there's only three jumps from Jita as well, so we can add this to Waypoint. So we'll try sieging the wormhole. I don't know how long it'll take, because it might take a very long time since we've not got so much DPS. And may might even not be possible, because since we've got pretty low DPS, it's not like the Golem where we're sitting with 2.3k DPS. We will probably... Or it could be a thing that they've got, because to Glavians in general, they've got remote reps, so it might happen that we will not have enough DPS to overcome their remote reps, and some people will just be invulnerable or invincible to us. So I think that that could be something that would make it not go too well. But to be honest, though, with the Golem, with the Kaldari Navy torpedoes, which apply best to small stuff, I do 1.6k DPS. And, I mean, 1.6k DPS is quite a lot, but, I mean, we do 600, that's like one third of it. I think that that should be enough still to get through the Romo reps. We'll see. One thing good about the Atron as well, compared to a Tech 2 frigate, is that we can put this directly into our uh, Raven frigate escape base. So we can carry this with us if we want to scout more. So that's what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be putting this in my Raven just so that I can carry this with me in case I want to find more Triglavians later. Did we even make a bookmark? Yeah, there we go. I was thinking of using an MJD. The thing is, the alpha clones they can't use an mjd a micro jump drive it makes it so that you just jump 100 kilometers in a certain direction but that could be useful if you want to clear distance fast but i can't do that unfortunately so we're gonna have to rely exclusively on the mwd in some ways it's good because alpha clones have pretty bad capacitor skills especially with the mwds the alpha clones are really like uh, handicapped in terms of their mwd uh, cap uh, using usage capabilities they're like there's this skill i think it's high speed maneuvering or something that reduces the capacity need of mwds and you have a very low level on alpha clones I think level one level two so you can get much more cap efficient mwds if you go with uh, an omega clone Edencom defender Double click, double click, double click. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is take this Atron. Where is it? There it is. Put it for good escape bay. Yay. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go here and snipe. Wait, wait. No, no, no. We need, we've got something. We need one thing. We need a mobile depot. But most importantly, we need a mobile tractor unit, actually. Let me make this bigger because there's lots of trash in here. Mobile track depot, and then we can need a mobile tractor because we can't say it. it would, I put it in the fit, but then I realized that I think mobile depots and mobile tractor units they're not saved in the fit. So you can see here that we've got a crash booster. This is the improved application. It costs one million each, and they each last for an hour, I believe. If you look here. No, oh, 30 minutes. Okay, because I think if I train this biology skill right here, biology, because this can be trained up more if I'm an alpha clone. Now here is a max level for alpha clones, level three. That's why I got only level three. But I think that it will last longer if you're a mega clone. And then we've got these salvages here that can refit. So when we want to salvage afterwards, we can do a refit to this. Unfortunately, alpha clones, they can't use the 
uh, salvage drones, so that's why we're going to have to use this, the onboard salvaging. It's just going to be the way it works, yeah. And we've got always this one salvager here if we were to ever need this. We could put the passive modules to one side. We could put the shield booster. This shield booster, I don't even plan really on using it. It's just for in an emergency. If some damn of it gets on top of us, so we can at least tank that. Do we not have drones? No, we do have drones. Where's the drone, uh, drone control thing? Where's our drone control? Oh, there it is. We need to organize our overview a little bit better here. Put this... I like to put the probe scan and the drones in the same tab because it's rare that you're using both of them at the same time. So medium and light. This is actually the first time I'm using a raven. I haven't used a raven before. So I think that this is... Oh, look at all these gankers right here. Whoa, how many gankers there are. Someone must have really... They must have really gone hard on them here. Uh, it's quite scary to see. Luckily, they don't usually are uh, interested in. The, well, they're not usually interested in Tech One battleships like the Raven, especially on some noob. But it's not uncommon. I've seen sometimes just random Tech One battleships being ganked, even with no bling modules. But it's less common. Less common than factional Tech Two ones like a Marauder. You know. We should turn off the vibration. It's quite annoying. Display and graphics. Camera shake. Oh, wow, that's a lot of, lot of NPCs right here. What was it that was destroyed? Galente Mining Barge. Ooh. I don't think a mining barge was hit right there. It must have been something else. Some people must be really bored that they had to attack a mining barge if that was the case. But my guess is that there was some freighter or jump freighter that was ganked there. They would need a lot of stuff in a 1.0 system. So in 1.0 systems, they have a like, really fast response time of five seconds. Very quick, very quick. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm very curious to see how this goes. We're very curious. I've never done this before. The Raven looks like a pretty cool ship, actually. Like, I've never used a Raven before. I've used a Golem. That's a Tech 2 variant, a very powerful version of the Raven. But I've never actually used the Tech 1 variant, the actual classical Raven before. I'm not a big fan of the asymmetrical design, but... I can see it gives a certain aspect of character. I prefer, I would have preferred though if it was symmetrical. The Golem is not symmetrical either, but I feel like it's a bit more symmetrical than the Raven. And that's why I think the Golem as well looks a bit better than the Raven. Okay, Wormhole 1, we can even just sort here by, this is a very good thing on the People and Places tab to actually sort by uh, the distance. So you always have the ones in system right here. And I know people have been telling me many times that you can press something, I think Control F. No, Alt F, I think it is. No, must be some hotkey that you can show the bookmarks in the system, but I like having them here because you don't have to click anything, and also you can see the ones that are a little bit further away, so you can just like tie and click to them as well. Okay, so we will then use our modules right here. So we're warping to this swab out here that was 100 kilometers away, and we're going to then pull range. We've got 900 meters a second with this uh, this uh, MWD, and a Leshak, I read online, it, it goes at uh, 700 meters. So we'll be going then faster than Leshak, and that's quite important. Not red max though, so it might be quite important to take them out. We'll see, we'll see if this goes how we want it to go. Okay, have we got Raznaborg, Damovic... Okay, we'll try taking it. I'll even consume this uh, this uh, booster right here. Consume, launch the mobile tractor unit. So we have this. This, and then we'll lock up these guys. And then we'll just... I think we'll just pull range. Let's just see who is trying to get close to us, really. Because we're cap stable with this one, so it's all right. Start shooting on this guy here, Raznaborg, Damovic. And we can even try aligning out to something. There's something here, so we can perhaps align out to this Kasauja gate, right, perhaps. So we have that as like a, a warp out point in the worst case that we were to get like, you know, taken down by them or, or captured by them right there. Uh, like, or they were to get close to us. So here I think that we could use then the drones since these guys are trying to get a bit close to us. We'll see here. We'll keep these, just return and orbit. I don't think I need to use my MWD yet, because we don't want to get too far. But if they do start getting closer, we can use our MWD, obviously. Oh, this guy is starting to get close. We can use our drones when they get in range. Start using this guy. 
So it seems like the Damaviks are the main culprits of getting close to us. They got 3k a second. But the rest of them seem to be alright, actually. Can try getting him further away if it's possible. Republic Fleet Valkyrie, try to take him out. We can try taking out the... We can try taking out these uh, Drekovacs, perhaps. Have our drones go for this guy. Just keep pulling range like this, really. It doesn't seem too bad, but it does also seem like it's quite slow as well. Like, see this guy? He seems like he's actually repping more than my drones can do. But we're destroying that Drekovac, though, so I like that. Hmm. I'm just thinking, how would be a good way to take out these Damaviks? What should we do about these guys? Because, I mean, we can boost here a little bit, you know? It's alright. They don't have so much DPS, but... We might want to probably warp around or something. Is there any way to warp around here? In case that, you know, they get close. These Damaviks are quite annoying, it seems like. But the da the dwar the Valkyries are taking them out, so that's good. The Valkyries are getting through his tank, so it's not like... Uh, he is infinitely repping or something. And you see our uh, mobile tractor unit? We can even just bookmark it right there. Is uh, pulling in loot. Hmm. I'm just thinking, like, what can I do about these Damaviks? Because they will get close to us. They go quite... Like, uh, they do actually... They are actually able to get close to us. Perhaps if it was, like, a Naga or something, you could snipe them better because we don't apply too good to these Damaviks. So maybe that could be a possibility. I'm not sure, though. But maybe it could be a possibility. And then you, because that would be only, I would see that as a benefit of the Naga is that you would get almost perfect application when they're far away. So then you could just snipe and blop, blap them like that, you know. But this seems to definitely be good when it comes to destroying the big stuff. Like you saw that Drekovac, it went down pretty quickly. I was pretty happy about that. So these Valkyries seem to be nice to have. There's some um, complementary DPS that is very nice for these... Uh, these little frigates here, Damaviks. Okay, now he's destroyed here. Go for these Vedmax. I think the Vedmax. Oh, look how far they are away. We might want to warp in here, actually. Warp back to. See now, when can we lock them? 160 kilometers away. We don't need to use our shield booster. We're wasting capacitor now. Oof. Let's see now. How far is this away? 150. They are 100 kilometers away. So we could warp to this bookmark right here, perhaps. Is there, is it possible to warp here? Yeah, we can warp within 30. I think that'll be good. So we can warp within this mobile tractor unit at 30. Let's start shooting them. Are there any... Yeah, so you see here, this is a more optimal range, I would say. I can pull range now. Lock all these guys up. But it seems like application was pretty good to the Drekovac, so I think it's going to be the same thing when it comes to the Vedmac as well. Even got that crash booster that helps quite a bit. Probably it will be good to take out this Kikimoras. Seem to be... They seem to be really liking the... Uh, <laughs> the getting close to me, so we'll take him out next. Or we'll have to probably use our drones. But the Vedmac's going down, so that's great. You can see here our mobile tractor unit is working. Over time, with all these wrecks being spread out so much. <laughs> but if you guys have any recommendations of fits, let me know. I might try them out if I get around to it. I think that's enough for him. We'll go for now the... Yeah, there we go. Popped right there. I'll go for this Kiki Moras now. I can even stop here. I don't even need to start be moving since they're going... They're quite far away. Oh, we can just move without MWD on, I think. If there's like a big spam of Damavix, I think that might be a little scary. We might have to selectively take fleet, so we might have to sometimes just, you know, warp out if stuff goes too crazy. Or we could maybe perhaps even make some, like, bookmarks around different areas so we can just warp to them or something. That could maybe be a possibility too. Now we can take the drones now, because these guys, this guy wants to get a little bit close. Oh, that Red Max getting close as well. They want to pull a little bit more range. Uh, Vedmac has a big range, actually. I didn't expect that range to be so significant on that Vedmac. So we can start aligning to Kausaja right here. Align to Kausaja. So this is where I think we would warp out. 
Okay, we'll return drones now. There's no point in continuing here because this guy seems like he's going to wreck me hard. This uh, Vedmac. So we have like a little spot here so we know where we were before. And then we can warp into that previous spot at like 100 kilometers or something like that. We can even reload our missiles as well. It would be quite nice if there was like a specific ship that baited them all. So it had like a really good tank and it was just sitting there in the middle of all these Triglavians creeping them all at one spot and then you had all these people sniping them from long range. So the thing is I don't know if there was maybe switch aggro sooner or later to the ones sniping them. That could maybe be a thing. And I really think that if you had to have big fleets it would be nice because you would destroy them before they ever get close to you so you would be defensively very good. Not only just doing the start like completing these encounters quicker but you would also like you would be more safe as well since you were to destroy them before they even get close to you even being able to do damage because you saw here now because we didn't kill them fast enough they were able to get close to us but if we were like two three maybe we ravens we would have definitely killed them before they got close to us but these were not even a lot of triglavians though they can be definitely more triglavians this just keep that in mind so we can now warp here maybe a hundred and we'll see how this goes i worry a little bit that my mobile tractor you know might not be able to get them because they had to could travel very far to be able to get to me it might even be better to go with something like a Typhoon because a Typhoon is quicker than this. And it can use cruise missiles as well. And it has good explosion velocity as well so it'll be better at destroying these guys. So I think the Raven will be more snipey. This will be better for destroying small stuff. So I think actually the Typhoon might be a better alternative to be honest. Oh look they returned. They returned to their original location. That's interesting right there. we warp to this mobile tractor unit now. Get back to this. And we'll continue our sniping spree. But I definitely think that it would be a possibility to use a, you know, a Typhoon. The Typhoon doesn't have as good range. We have better range. But that explosion velocity looked very nice. Because we would, you know, be able to apply very good to these small stuff. So we'll start sniping the Vedmac because he does a lot of damage. And we'll pull range and go to Kausaja right here. We would we can actually make a bookmark that is very close. So we, when we warp, if we have to warp again to Kausaja, we can make a bookmark so we don't have to warp so far. So instead of warping 6 AU, we maybe warp just, warp just a few hundred thousand kilometers. It'll be a lot quicker. So you just have to keep going here. And another thing that will be really good is that the Typhoon is actually quite a bit quicker than the Raven. Minmatar ships in general are pretty quick. So that'll be another thing that's good about it. Oh, Imicus. Oh, no. Are they going to try to steal my salvage? I hope not. That'll be kind of... Kind of lame they do yeah, i think they will it looks like it at least like i mean why else would there be two imicus warping in and out they're probably trying to find a way to get close to my uh my rex right there and steal them there's kaldari navy police right here i don't know what they're doing maybe there was some gank that occurred or something perhaps or maybe those guys were explorers you know who knows okay so now i'm thinking maybe even i could just try salvaging because if i salvage then I will at least be able to do that. Uh, there doesn't seem to be spawning any new ones in this wormhole siege. Because usually how it works in these encounters. Then you have to like. Uh, you have to. When you're destroying stuff. Then uh, like maybe when you destroy 20% or something like that. Then they respawn. But here it seems like I have to destroy everything to be able to uh, get through these guys. Oh we're going to maybe even volley this guy. But I want to I want to go and try and get my loot right there. So we can try going close to this guy, and if we really need to, we can just snipe him. But we'll just get, we'll try salvaging some stuff if it's possible, or at least grab what's in the mobile uh, tractor unit. See if there's anything interesting there. I think we can tank this one Kikimura right here. But if we can't, we'll always just you know pop him with our missiles. He's using missiles as well. You can see that he's doing some thermal uh, em damage i think that's what the missiles are you saw even there was some explosions it wasn't like disintegrators he's got a disintegrator right there but he's also launching some missiles at us you see that explosion right there oh he is getting through our tank a bit just pulse a little bit the bit shield boost and we can just get close to this and we can save capacitor then we can pulse the shield booster a bit okay let's see now what have we got in the mobile tractor unit two million or whopping two million I got a Vedmac here. Oh, maybe this Vedmac is wanting to do some exploration or something. And try salvaging this stuff here. Oh, maybe that Vedmac was warping somewhere and just warped by us or something. I don't know. Hmm. 
Uh, this Kikimura is getting quite a bit of damage on us, so we might want to just take him out like that. Oh, it doesn't seem like they're spawning in anything new. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I guess we sieged this wormhole. It could be that it was already sieged. And just that we got the remaining fleet right here. Well, that's good at least. We managed to destroy some of these. Quite curious how this would work out in a bigger fleet. But at least I'm happy that here we managed to destroy the wormhole fleet. Or at least a small wormhole fleet. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> at least it was somewhat of a success. Next time, I think what we'll do is we'll go and look for some of the like actual fleet style roaming around. And we'll go and uh, see how well this ship does in those. We'll definitely have to be on top of our bookmark game. See what happens there. We can refit to salve, full salvage right here with this mobile depot. There we go. Now I can refit a bit here. Now I can fully salvage these things here. If you want to know how to get a Triglavian loot filter, you can just go on my character. Just here, in there's this filter called Invasion Loot, which you can get here. Just click on this and save it. Like that. And then you can just click here and you'll see everything that you've got so far. Okay, so the total from this little encounter was 3 million. So actually not at all uh, great right there. Maybe it could be better if we had encountered more lair sharks or something more interesting. But it didn't seem to be that profitable, unfortunately. I would have hoped it to be a bit more profitable. It can also be a bit of RNG as well, what the salvage jobs are as well. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time we'll try going after a proper fleet. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.